Hi, this is Team 94 and uh, today we will present a dashboard, a nutrition tracking dashboard as part of our final project for CSE 564 uh, visualization by Professor Klaus Mueller. So how did we come up with this idea? So uh, there are uh, apps that help a user uh, to uh, provide an idea about their uh, food consumption and also the content uh, of their food, the, the micronutrient and the micronutrient, both of them. But uh, these are seldom interesting to the user, that they're, they're just numbers and tables. Uh, so CSE 564 uh, helped us uh, lay a strong foundation into visualizing data and we thought that we could make this task uh, a bit more interesting and by unlocking the secrets uh, buried into data visualization we hope that this work will contribute towards the health of our community. So next we move on to the meat of our project uh, which is this multidimensional food explorer. Uh, for this we have used the uh, USDA dataset uh, which is the US Department of Agriculture dataset and uh, so uh, what is this multidimensional food explorer as you can see it uh, explores various dimensions of uh, food the qualities of food like the macronutrients and the micronutrients uh, the macro being uh, the ones like carbohydrates fats calories and the micronutrients being calcium things like vitamin c and etc uh, so these uh, have been represented uh, using the parallel coordinates in D3JS and these uh, support uh, various functionalities like uh, brushing. So uh, maybe the user is not interested in looking at all the uh, parameters, right? Uh, maybe he wants to drill down and uh, have a clearer vision of something. So uh, we have provided this feature where the user can uh, basically select uh, all the features that he wants to visualize and uh, only depict them in this uh, parallel coordinates. So as you can see, uh, we can change it as, as to our likes. Also, uh, the user can permute these attributes so as to have different visualizations. Uh, maybe there's something useful hidden in there and just a permutation away. Uh, also, we have implemented the feature of uh, bracketing in this, so a user can uh, bracket and only those food items will be visible. Uh, these food items are basically shown uh, at the right side in the search for dataset. Uh, you, might, you might be wondering what these colors stand for. So these colors basically stand for various food types, so as you can see, the cereals, uh, the Quaker and the Kellogg's cereals belong to the category of cereals. So they are of the same color. Basically, if you cluster it using k-means, uh, these clusters will be formed of the same color. Uh, one such interesting insight that we found out was uh, if we uh, plot the water versus calorie graph, uh, so as we can see that there's a strong negative correlation and it makes sense the food food stuff that are high in water content have less calories in it say a cucumber next we move on to the search food functionality of our dashboard mm, basically a user can throw in a few keywords uh, and uh, it will help user uh, so basically suggests the user with uh, the related food items say uh, if it types in chicken here so different chicken products are uh, seen here uh, as you can see uh, as I'm hovering on different products the RDA fulfillment uh, dash, uh, dashboard component that is on the top and the multidimensional food explorer both are getting updated so uh, RDA fulfillment basically it tells that uh, how much recommended daily allowance in percentage uh, can the given Howard food item fulfill uh, so as we can see um, that uh, you know uh, the chicken broiler uh, has like 16% of uh, daily needed fat in it uh, also the multidimensional food explorer 
helps us uh, draw a path basically it highlights the path uh, through all its coordinates so uh, that's the end of the presentation and uh, i'd like to say that uh, we have spent a lot of time and worked hard on this project and we hope you like it